My name is Katrin Lynch. I'm a professor of anthropology at Olin College of Engineering. I'm Ella. I'm a co-professor of this class, Engineering for Humanity. It's a class that we teach for students who are early in their engineering education at Olin College. And it's an integration of anthropology, design, and engineering. The course description is to learn how to work with local older adults or senior citizens and to get to know an individual and to design and make and hand off something that's going to help the older adult achieve their goals, whatever those might be. So it might be a very social kind of goal or it might be a physical goal. They vary widely. We First they just get to know people, what's important to them, who these people are, their um, in the community, what are some experiences of older adults who live here, and then after a couple of weeks they focus in on deciding to work with a particular person. So they start to build on the observations that they, they have of these people and what's happening with them to see what matters most for these people and to come up with different ideas about things that they could do to make a difference in their lives. And they take three of those ideas and try small experiments um, to see which of those project ideas make the biggest difference for their, their partners mm -hmm. and um, which they enjoy working on and then prototyping their first solution that's all put together and then creating a pilot which is um, a version that can actually go and live in the person's home and life for a few days and getting feedback and then finally another round of creating a product yeah, We're also layering on additional um, experiences that they're designing to become more aware of not only this experience they're creating for their partner, but their own experience in the class. And then we add teaming, <laughs> so observing the experience they're having in their teams and, um, and tuning into those experiences and identifying what matters most to make that better and coming up with ideas and experiments to improve their teamwork, um, which was absolutely critical. So we layer the team layer on um, and we layer yet another layer on the societal sort of level which it includes a lot of reading around uh, topics in anthropology, sociology kind of area about aging and social, economic, political issues related to aging. They're doing an assignment which we call the aging action assignment where they're supposed to try to make a difference, change some people's impressions of aging by doing some kind of action. It could be done in different ways. So one approach could be just put some topics about aging in society into some classes. Another approach could be that you want to think about getting to know an individual and what's important to, to you. It would be great if it could be an engineering design project like we have, but if you couldn't do that full thing, you could do some small scale, like get to know this person, find out one thing they're working on, and help them to get there. You know, you lose contact after years and years of not being around young people. It was fascinating to see how their minds worked and what they were going to do. I learned to think like an engineer a bit. Um, I learned a lot from them, and they came to my house many times um, and wanted to know all about me. <laughs> um, and they, the emphasis is on the person. Um, I know so many engineers that they're not people persons at all. They're, to the things, they're into the things. But the focus on this course is that these things that they're designing are for real people. Because at the end of the day, you're engineering something for an end person. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of times I think that that person's lost. For E4H, he's like this real person. And there's this, we have to like call him and like text him and get his feedback. They're more used to using the phone for typing. Um, <laughs> not for actually getting on the phone, but the older adults want to talk on the phone. And so learning how to communicate with different clients and stakeholders and, and what's required for professional engagement out in the world is something that definitely is happening in this class. So like the conversations we have about society and aging and stuff are things you'd never consider but um, have been like definitely broadened my perspective. And the reason I just keep coming back to teach it is because it is so much about discovering students, discovering their own capacity to connect to other people, to care about other people, to see other people and what's happening for them, to imagine um, 
ways they can make a difference. There's a lot, this class is deeply emotional. We were joking with one of the students, like this class will change your life and now's the time to have your life changed.